I have enough to provide for my family. So you ain't gonna tell me that within my heart, God ain't ain't ain't, ain't uh, providing for me. And, and if I take a chip in my hand and still be able to do things that I do, and I still can't be with my God, it's it's something wrong. Hey, but sis, this is what it is. God is not implementing a chip. Satan is. Right. Okay. So, so 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 let me let me let me I'm show you. Sis, 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 this is what I'm saying though. Even 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 Christ says that we cannot serve two masters. And then this is so I agree that right now, this is based on what you're saying. I'm not going. I'm I'm not going to provide for my family. The Lord is going to provide for your family if you trust Him. Okay. I but if you get that chip, according to the Bible, according to God, mm -hmm. you're going to burn in hell. Okay. So you can do that if you want. But I just read what the Bible said. Alright? Finish reading the second verse. I'm, 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 I'm. That's what the Bible said. See, a lot of people are going to take it, but it's not our job. To, we're not going to force people not to take it. We're just putting out what God is saying. Right. You ask the question, we read the scripture. That's right. Now, if, you, if you're with God and have faith in Him, even though you may have to go through a little suffering and your children may have to... Listen, listen, sis. Maybe that, I should say... Go ahead. Are you saying people that take the chip are not with God? That's are, right. are, are you saying that? That's what the, the Bible word is saying. saying. That's what the Word says. The Word says. Now, the word say. it depends. Now, if you... It, 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 it depends, because I want to show this. It depends on whether or not you built your faith on the Word of God or built your faith based on what happened in your life. That's two separate things. You still have, to, your faith has to be built on what God said. So if you trust in him, depend on him and do what he say. If he say don't take it, I'm your father, I'm going to save you. Trust him. Trust him. He ain't gonna, he's not going to leave your children out. He knows what your children need. But your faith is going to have to be shown. And you're going to have to get tried like anyone else. Because if you're going to get Christ's kingdom, if Christ suffered these things, no, you offer, you will suffer them also. You can't get Christ's kingdom without affliction and persecution and total rejection of this world. You have to step away. I want to show something. I'm going to let you in, but I want to show something. Finish reading that and read St. John 15 and 18. We're going back to that before before I go back to this, sister. Okay? Read, read, read what you have there. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. That, that's the key. Be ye not afraid when they bring this chip out, and don't you doubt your Lord. Don't take this chip that Satan is giving you and making you think that you're not going to make it. Because when, when, when Satan was at the pinnacle of Christ and said, listen, bow down to me and worship me and all these kingdoms I'm going to give you. Christ had a choice because he was tempted. And he said, you're not supposed to tempt the Lord thy God. So he rebuked him. So the same agreement that he tried to make with Satan, he's going to try to make. I mean, that, that Satan tried to make with Christ, he will attempt to make with Christ's followers. That chip is you and Satan at the mount. You can have everything you want, clean credit. They may even throw a house in there for you. Follow me. Are you going to do what your Lord did? Or are you going to bow to the mark? Read on. <clears throat> Be not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide. Go ahead. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. So that's the first thing. In order to understand this God, you have to understand his laws. We have to start keeping his commandments. We're the people that receive the commandments coming out of Egypt. We have a law to follow. What we eat, how we act, everything. Moral, civil, di dietary. We have to stop following the ways of the heathen. All these holidays and all that, this worshiping these different gods, we have to step away from it. We have to keep his commandments. Read. Let your... Excuse me. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Okay. To keep my what? My precepts. The precept is what I just read. That's a passage out of the Bible. That's what we have to keep. And when it comes to, and not just you, everybody, when it comes down, when this chip is about to be, be implemented, 
You're going to remember what the scripture said. It's going to come into you. It's going to be loud. All of us. When this chip is implemented, this scripture and what we read in Revelations, you're going to know. So if you purposely re accept this after you know what God said, then that shows that your agreement is with the other God. Because Satan is a God in this earth. Job 9 and 24 says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So he can give you everything you need to serve him. So if, if your God is what you're saying that's in your heart, that you want to take this chip, and your God wants you to take this chip, that God is not the God. Because the God is saying don't take it. Yes, sir. So you're saying that at the at the at the end of time, by being at the end of time in the last days, that that it's gonna get it's gonna get so bad and it's gonna be so worse that um, that the government is gonna be in full control of everything. Yes. And you are not going to be able to buy on your own or sell anything on your own. Absolutely. You got that, or, or receive anything. Only way you're going to be able to receive anything is through and by the government. Yes. And 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 by the government. And the government, the only way you get it is through and by receiving this chip yes. in your body. Yes. And if you refuse to do it, then if you, you're selling yourself out if you receive it. Yes. And if you don't. Then you're gonna be you're gonna be believing in the Lord to take care of you exactly through these, these, exactly. This, this period of time exactly. Now on that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, give me one second. On that, another thing they're cutting off the borders. What they're doing at the borders have nothing to do with Mexicans coming over. Mexicans been coming over here before anybody was here. They don't care about no Mexicans. They're cutting off the border to keep people in. It's the same thing they did in 70 A.D. So when they implement this. Blackwater got the new contract after they after they did that big bundle over there and that big bundle over there in uh, Iraq when it come to fire Blackwater was fighting on both sides of the war keeping the war going and was killing they was even killing uh, uh, American American soldiers because they they have a rule of their own so what did they do Blackwater no sooner they did that bundle that, that bundle bundling up over there they got a new contract millions of dollars to be the new DEA in the new border controls of this country, Blackwater. And that's what you said. You know, we said you didn't, they didn't care. They don't care if if Mexicans come in. They don't. They're care. not trying to keep the Mex Mexicans out. They're using the Mexican thing as an excuse to close down the borders. That's just a pretext. They don't care. They don't care. I mean, they they need Mexicans over here for slave labor. They need them here. But they put it out there in the public, that's why they're doing it. And that's a lie. They're doing it because of national security, what they're about to do in the country when they call martial law. Martial law is coming in. Yes, so how is. do you get out of the country? But I told you, that's going to be the last thing. I'm with you. Believe me. Sis, I got this. Go ahead. One more thing. What time you got to work? Maybe you got to punch a clock when you go to work? Yeah. yeah. 10.30. What time you got to work? That's usually what I have to work. When you go to work in the morning, what time you got to work? Oh, yeah, me at 6. Yeah, 6. What time you got to work? 6. What time you get off? 3 o'clock. Are y'all being controlled by the government? Because if you don't go to work, you ain't going to get paid. So are y'all being controlled by the government now? Yes, y'all are. Do you believe in God? Do you? Uh, what does this have to do with it? Uh, no, you're not. You're listening. You're, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm making a point. What's the point? Because he's saying all these he's things. He's not saying nothing. No, it's wait a minute. The Bible. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Well, the Bible is saying that the government is going to control us. Right. All this bad stuff is going. Okay. Going to happen. Right. And the Lord about the mark of the beast and all that. We're being controlled now. We're being controlled now by having a punch.